Hello everybody, this is episode 10 of Conker's Live and Reloaded. Yeah, we are going to keep playing this game, Conker. Uh, I'm recording this directly after my last episode because I don't want to have to stop halfway of, um, during this water level. Because I'll, I'll have completely lose track where I'm going. Uh, did I just go down yellow last time? Oh, let's go down here. Cause this doesn't look familiar. I probably should have watched someone else do this before I tried doing this on my first try. No, we got a monster! Don't eat me! <laughs> I think we're good. I think this might actually be the way to go too. And our light source is broken. Doesn't really do much now, does it? I think the light source might protect you from those monsters, but that's about it, as far as I know. Oh no, there's a monster. Oh, we'll jump in here, so we're safe. Where is he? Did he already pet? Oh shit, there he goes. Well, let's jump up right behind him. Hopefully he doesn't see us. I'm hoping this ain't the entrance way. Please tell me this is the actually way I'm supposed to be going, not the way I came. We'll find out with an editor. And then the demo goes. I don't really know what's going on here. Apparently that was the entrance way. So, poo on us. Let's go back down. Because you're not very smart. Look at Conker's face. He needs air. Whenever he starts to get a little panicky on his face, that's when you know you need him air. And whenever his face disappears for a second, that means you know you're recharging air. Man, there's two minutes of this first video uh, of this episode 10 wasted. I should have just quit recording and started playing some more Pokemon. I knew I should have took the yellow pipe. Should have took the red pill. Alright, so we've pulled a lever, which did something. Let's go over here. Probably should have got some air. There'll probably be air over here. We're gonna risk it. Why not? Oh, there is air right over here. How fortunate. Is this where we're supposed to be going? Oh, I think this is another level. Level. Lever. Pull. Didn't I already get this one? Alright, so basically we've done everything that we did in the last episode of this game, so let's find something new. Gosh, this, this labyrinth is so confusing. Or it's not confusing as more as i just not paying attention to where I'm going. I have a pretty good idea what Conker's, like what his kind of breath capacity is, so I'm pretty, like just through drowning a lot on previous playthroughs, I kind of have a good idea for that. There's another air pipe right down here. I mean, these air pipes are pretty common, if you actually think of it. Oh, this is where we're supposed to be going, because that's that gate that I was supposed to open earlier. So five minutes into this video, I finally figured out where the f I'm going. Try not to say fuck, but can't help it. It sometimes just happens. I think there's a giant, yeah, there is. There's a giant monster fish up there. I think if we get too close to the sides, I won't even matter. Because I think they made this part easier whenever they remade the game. If we hide down here, he won't see us, will he? No, he won't. God, please, pl please be this, the way we're supposed to be going and not the way we just came. Please be the way we're going. So I, had, I don't know how I'm going to edit, edit that first part out. I had like... Uh, yes, finally. This is the way we're supposed to be going. Editing! Oh, and now we're in a pipe. Bam! Oh, damn, I'm not going to take your shit. 
Bam! Get you on the uppercut. Oh gosh, here comes a boss fight. Smoking a dube. how mature this game was. Flammable. Oh, gosh, that was... So how do we get rid of very immature people? By doing the most immature thing possible! See, these guys will try to catch you on fire, and since you're definitely a squirrel, that doesn't help very much. So we go over here. We drank beer. Conker's awesome meter goes way up, but he's also very drunk. Take, take that. Woo! That's the way called core gameplay right here. Zip that up. Conquer shakes his leg out a little bit. Now this could take a while. Mostly because Conquer's not very mobile. These guys like to jump and dance around. Oh, I got one down. Oh, is that two down? I think that's three down. Oh my gosh, this is going pretty well. I suck at controlling when I jump, but whenever I'm taking a piss, I have just like the utmost control, apparently. Man, why are there so many of these guys? There's another one. I thought Conker was supposed to run out of urine and you had to like keep getting him drunk over and over again. At least that's what you had to do on the original Bad Fur Day. He'd run out of piss and you'd have to get him sobered up again and then get him drunk again. <laughs> oh gosh! Up. Oh, see. See now he's just hung over. His drunk level has went out. Went out. Oh god, he threw up. Dang. And we need to sober him up again. Feel much better. And he throws that shit out of here. Oh gosh. Now we get to uh. Keep going on this onward. I'm gonna get drunk again. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Do, 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 do. And our awesome meter goes way up. Also, on that Pokemon note, I got the special edition Celebi. And I got it on the very last day, I think. Because I think the last day you could get it was yesterday. Which was, I think, March 6th. <laughs> I don't even know what day yesterday was. But I'm pretty sure ye yesterday was the last day you could do it. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's do the big big guy. Yeah, oh. The big, big guy. <laughs> if you thought this couldn't get any more less mature, be prepared for this. That helps. Screen blacking out again. Gentlemen, gentlemen, do calm down. We have business at hand. Hey, he sounds really pompy, like like an English person. Nutters. <laughs> hey, up to the shop. Let me show you something. See that button there? Yeah. The one with the yeah. Press it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I see what you mean. Balls of brass. Polished to the nth degree. 
Oh no. A bourgeois big bullet boiler. That's all I need. Big brass bald boiler. Alright, luckily we're sober again, so we don't have to worry about anything like that. Oh gosh. Oh, get over here. That's what we had to do. Oh yeah, so that drops down s things like that. I get up there. And we just hit him with bricks to the balls. Their overheat level is going up. Can I get a second quick shot at them really quickly? Oh, no, that one disappears. If you've ever played Twilight Princess, the Goma fight, which is that, yes, that big spider is Goma, in uh, the Temple of Time, this fight plays out a, ver a lot similar to that one. <laughs> if you've played that and know what I'm talking about, you're awesome. Wait, don't do that. You get bricks to the balls. Since there's four squares, I'm pretty sure this is a four hit boss. Nope, he decides to go in the exact wrong spot that I am in. Man, I'm dominating this guy. Finally, a boss fight that's going my way. Are you kidding me? What are you doing over there? There's not even a lover over there anymore. Oh, my little puppy's going crazy. Ah, damn you, boss. You can't hurt me. I'm a two-foot-tall squirrel. It's impossible for you to hurt me. Rips! Oh. Oh, he's, he's about to overheat. Oh gosh, this is not going good. Alright, oh my gosh, I just had a heart attack. I for a second I thought well, I wasn't recording my audio. I was like, what? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm doing good. I can't have to reshoot this. <laughs> oh, and see, that's what can happen. Man, I was about to get this guy with no hits. Alright, jump over there. Get him. There we go. Yeah, he will shoot fire at you. Oh, we missed? Not that time we didn't. Oh, those are starting to enlarge. Oh, gosh. They're gone. Yeah, choose between the rear passage or self-destruct. What did you choose? Oh, it's awesome. Well, now I got these two guys who are... You know what? The best thing to do with these guys is just to do what you did last time. Can I not... Ah, oh, damn it. I guess you can't beer him again. Alright. Best thing to do with these guys is ignore them. Oh gosh, we're running close on the time limit. Look what we have here though. We have these big brass balls are still here. So next time on uh, Live and Reloaded, we will be playing with big brass balls. Yes, you heard me right. Big brass balls. That's what we will be doing on episode 11. I bet you guys can't wait for that episode to come out. Anyway, uh, but until next time, I, got, I guess I'll see you guys. So, peace.